Previously and Javier for Hire. Welcome to RTS, Princess Rosalina. Welcome all to Day 6, aka Round 4 of Friendship Game. Starting today, we will be entering a completely new phase of the game where instead of daily challenges, you all will be going through a challenge that will last about a whole week long. But before we reveal what Round 4 will be about, do any of you know what day is May 22nd? Haji's 30th birthday! This correct trip in Round 4. Contestants will split into groups to host parties for Aki. The only one that you must invite is me, while inviting Ataru, Nagisa, and Naruto is strongly recommended. Will party groups compete with each other? No. There will be no rankings for parties after they're done. Where are you, Peach and Daisy? We sisters are in Italy right now. Speaking of sisters, why isn't Rosalina with you? I'm an unlockable character. Players are supposed to finish the Italy part first before unlocking me. I would go in a gang in Spain. You know, we used to have streaks together, and it was pretty nice at first. However, we kinda got fed up with it and didn't want to extend it anymore. But that stupid Trina freaking kept one-sided streaks with us for like four months, even after we sent nothing back. Hey, bye! Do you want to be in a group together? As long as you don't mind me being captain. Sinjin, you must join my group. How many people are currently in your group? Just one. Me. I'm the captain. Sure, I would like to join Captain Trina's group. What party ideas do you have, Po? Oh. I want to cook up a feast in my Chinese restaurant. Is this everyone in your group? We also want to invite Zelda to our group. You may want to take a look at the bleachers. I can cook if you need me, so I'm down. Alright, me, Po, Candace, and Coach Car. Is this everyone that's left? I guess yes. Every party group will receive $200 for party preparation. The contestants from each party group can also use their leftover shopping money from last round. I have an idea. The buffet. It can accommodate everyone's taste. Wow, keeping our spendings low. My group is supposed to be recreate trick-or-treating. And I would like to ask if you guys are open with us coming by your places. So, going for Carly, Sam, Freddy, and Gibby, oh yes. Wait, Eugene, don't do Buffett. Thank you so much, Postad. We can do a Chinese feast again. Other than the four of us and Rocky, is there anyone else you want to invite? Maybe let's keep it to the five of us. But, can we still stick with Bender and Oscar, aka Naruto and Ataru? If we have enough in the budget for the tickets, then sure. Anna, Jake Peralta, Benetta, Harry Potter, and Natsu. How nice. Gosh, Levi is basically Harry Potter 2.0. Thanks, Rachel. Savior, I... Rocky's appreciation towards team captains and team members is impartial as long as we all take part. I'm actually pretty good friends with your dear cook, Spongebob. Sure, go ahead. If Rocky doesn't get to have it, he'll still eliminate you anyway. Anyways, do you guys have a party idea yet? Unfortunately, our group has decided to disband. Huh? Are you sure? Yes. After looking at other groups' situations and their intended party dates, we will be forced to do our party in only a mere two days. Plus, the party location and theme we later came up with was completely different from what we just started with. If you think the other three groups are more secure, you can try to ask them to invite you. But if you fail to join them, then you'll be out with a restraining order. Good morning all. Sorry for the sudden briefing. The reason why we have called you for a briefing today is because there will be some changes to your party groups. Janice, Urza, and Zelda who have previously formed a group, have decided to disband. They have also requested the remaining three groups to invite them to their groups. Team Rachel, Team Trina, and Team Eugene, please think carefully before inviting any of these three. Once you invite them as your teammates, you cannot uninvite them. 
and if any contestant were to be abandoned at the end of the process, they will be eliminated. Is there any group who wants to go first on lending him a hand? We originally had the plan to invite Princess Zelda, but we didn't need that many people for our party to work. Zelda and I have been long-time family friends. Her stewardess, Impa, is really good friends with my grandpa. So Rocky, Zelda, and I came over to each other's places quite often as a kid. But as we grew up, Impa continued to stay close to my grandpa, while Zelda grew apart from me and Rocky. Still, she shouldn't be leaving this game just because we abandoned her. Velma, Nelson, Loxo, Patrick. Their eliminations all served the right. I really can't watch Princess Zelda get out like this. I really can't. I see Tripp and Rachel raising their hands. Who do you want in our group? We want Princess Zelda. Anybody else wants Princess Zelda in the group? Okay, I guess Princess Zelda's taken then. We are the champions, my friends. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. As long as you're not blind, you're not gonna choose Janice, are you? Urza or Janice? I mean, Urza is intelligent, caring, and detail-oriented, all of which are useful for our team. As for Janice, I don't really mind her hyena laughs, but what else does she have? Looks like Trina raised her hand. Who do you want in your team? Urza will be in Team Trina. Team Eugene, do you want Urza in your team? Okay, Urza is on Team Trina. But who will invite Janice into their team and save her from elimination? A little hint for what our group is doing, Eugene. Our party needs a lot of hands. It's not like we have to pay money to hire her, right? Friendship is not supposed to cost money. So, are you willing to have another pair of hands help you make the best party ever? Sure, we can have Janice help out as a cook. Thank you so much for your generosity. Please keep it up as we strive to make this our first, and hopefully not the last, round with zero eliminations. You all can resume with party planning. Hey Toby, guess we should switch spots then? Hey Trina, are you sure there's still enough space in the car? Huh? Now that you talk about it, Sinjin, there really isn't enough. Trina, it's okay. Trina probably wasn't too aware that there was only just enough space for Rocky, Brendan, and Oscar in my van. But, as one of only three team captains in this round, she also has to find the balance between saving a contestant who doesn't deserve elimination and keeping the party within capacity. And if she could only do one of these two, then doing the former is absolutely justifiable. What do you think about just inviting Oscar and not Brendan? It's not a good idea. Why? Brendan and Oscar are basically inseparable best friends. Every time when there was only one spot left on the road trips we hosted, Oscar would always choose Brendan over Rocky. Mom, when is Uncle Toby coming? He'll be coming in about five minutes. Also, Ace, do you have any soccer games coming up? Something went wrong with the soccer field grass, so we're starting our season a few weeks later. <laughs> Wait, that's Brendan and Rocky. Wait, so it's the six of us now? Yeah, about that. Ace is also joining us today, so there's space for only one of you two in the car. I would love to join the strip. Me too, please invite me. Brendan, you'll get the last face in our car. Sorry, Rocky. I'll invite you next time. It's okay, Oscar. Have a nice time for Bestie. If you choose just Oscar and not Brendan, Oscar will be really sad 
and he won't be able to enjoy himself during our party. I like spending time with you. I'm anxious, it's too much too soon. Analyzing everything you do as a sign that you like me, so I like you too. Had a lucky childhood. I grew up without a dad, they somehow never got a choice as we escaped this earth. Quick, my childhood become a cake. Dine out with me, stick after stick, they will never gone on a break. Spot might be where I be, but your path is one without fleas. So we can give and take attention, ensuring the happiness and sadness. But am I mistaken? About where you want this to end You were a friend Someone to help me be a better friend than I am Don't let my expectations get out of hand And crush us again We'll be free to begin again Begin again We'll be free to begin again. Begin again. We'll be free to begin again. Sorry guys, I'm late. But I got you guys some Dis Donalds, including these two. Thank, Thank you, you Urza. Urza. Anytime. No need to pay back. Anyways, you guys were talking about what to do with the last spot in Toby's van, right? Yes. That's right. I have a solution. What is it? What if we invite neither of them? Or, we can just invite Rocky and Jen. That way neither Brendan nor Oscar will have to go to a party without abandoning the other. Karina was right from the beginning. If we invite Jen, but not Oscar, that's not really fair either. Let's just invite Rocky. Hello, Team Trina. You guys are the second party group to confirm your party theme and guest list. Are you guys ready? Yes, we are. Step 1. What type of party is your party? We'll be going to the Waffle Town Fair this weekend. This sounds very nice of you guys, just as long as you have the tickets and transportation ready. I have a seven-seat van that I can drive. That's sweet. Step two, who are you gonna invite? <sighs> we'll be a party of six. So, you don't want to invite anybody? Our budget is a little limited. So our transportation options are limited to Toby's van and that we only have one spot left after the six of us in this room right now get on the van. I wanted to invite Ataru. I know he and Naruto are basically inseparable best friends. If I were to invite Ataru, Bandit and Naruto, Ataru's not gonna have a good time. But everyone in this group can drive. Why don't you go for a second car? A five seat one should be good enough. We have thought of that too. It's just the bond is going to be a lot weaker if we can only see a small part of the squad during the 30 minutes ride to and back each way. That's some smart analysis. But if you don't want to invite just one of Naruto, Ataru, or Nagisa for the sake of fairness, you can still go for one of the VIPs. Do you want to take a look? I don't want to run our budget the Krusty Krab way, but... Trina. These are some of Rocky's closest friends. They love hanging out with Rocky. They will understand your financial situation, and be nicer in terms of money. Plus, there are some people that you may know. Maybe your idol is in there as well. Wow! Is Avril Lavigne in there? Well, let's find out. I'm Carly. I'm Sam. And this is iCarly. I'm the fashion know-it-all Taylor Swift's. Dressing well is important for getting good friendship, 
so I'm the right one to look for if you need help. I'm Molly Stewart, formerly Hannah Montana. We used to be really good friends through elementary school, middle school, high school, and even college. Sure, I did something wrong later on, but I was willing to change and presented a better version of myself in front of Miley. And here I am, one of Miley's best friends. I'm Tori Mega. I'm an actor, singer, and dancer, and I taught Rocky dancing. Although I've already graduated from Hollywood Arts six years ago, I still stay very good friends with my friends from there to this day. I'm Princess Rosalina. She has the most followers among the 18 of us. Currently, all VIPs are available except for the iCarly gang, in which team Eugene has secured. Did I just see Tori being one of the VIPs? Yes, that's right. Trina, do you want your sister to join us? No! Rocky, my sister can't see this! Come on, have some confidence in yourself. You're gonna have a great time at the fair with Rocky. Raise your hand if you wanna invite Tori to your party. Lots to learn from this intelligent 25-year-old social prodigy. I just want friends. I can pay for my own ticket if I need to. I would love to have Tori fill in the last space in my car. Plus, she's not that much older than my daughter, so they can be pretty good friends. What about you, Trina? Tori has a lot of opportunities like these without me, so I want to prove to Tori that I'm better than her. But at the same time, neither Tori nor I got to go to these places as a kid. Wow! Dad, can you take us to Disneyland this summer? I want to ride a roller coaster. Work is kind of busy for me this summer. If I can manage to take a couple of days off, then we can go. Can we go to Disneyland this weekend? It's the last week of August, and if we can't go this week, then we'll have to go back to school. Story Trina and Tori. Maybe next summer. We can go even longer. There's only two weeks left before school starts again, and everyone in my class has already visited Disneyland at least once, except me and Tori. Can we go? You promised us that we'll go this summer. Sorry, Trina, but... Your uncle's in a bit of a financial emergency and we don't have enough money to go. Maybe this Christmas? And yep, we never got to go. Is that why you suggested Waffle Town Fair in the first place? That's right. I feel sad for Tori too. I always wanted to do better than her. And see, I finally get to be the captain. I get to be in the lead. But when I just joined Friendship Game and heard that losers get restraining orders, I felt really panicked. I really wanted people to help me. Without the right help, I worried that my days before I get this big fat slip called a restraining order won't be long. I know I can't cheat, but I really want Tori to help me as this is what she's good at. So, I guess Tori is joining the party. Yes! Okay, Waffle Town Fair, just me and Tori. Did I forget anything? Nope. That's everything. That's a deal then. You cannot uninvite Tori from your party unless she backs out herself. And Team Eugene and Team Rachel can't invite her as each VIP may only attend one party. You can invite more VIPs before the day of the party if your capacity permits. On a first come first serve basis. Welcome to our team, Princess Zelda. Thank you, Xavier. You guys didn't have to do all this. Why not? Not just your old friend Levi, but even your locker partner Quagmire really look forward to partnering up with you for the first time in the game. I really am receiving the VIP treatment. I even tailor-made a Halloween costume for you. If it doesn't fit, or that you want to dress up as something else, feel free to let me know. Hey Zelda. Have you found a new group yet? Yes, Link. They seem to really love me. Is anybody inappropriate to you there? Oh, of course not. It's just right on me. Thanks, Rachel. My pleasure.
Now, do you want to try on the shoes? Of course. I just borrowed the old costume Phoebe wore three Halloweens ago when we dressed as Elsa and Anna. I originally thought a trick wearing Phoebe's costume, but Trip's just too, too tall. It'll be too small on her. And Zelda's height is just right. Hey Zelda, what shoe size do you normally wear? Um, an 11? Wow. Zelda wears even bigger shoes than I do. I mean, she's a princess after all. Why can't I wear a size 11? I feel thankful, as there are lots of kids that may never get to see themselves wear even an adult-sized shoe. Like, we don't need a lot of money to them every year. And what about the ones that had to practice foot binding? As 21st century people, we should feel thankful. Perfect. That's the same size my friend wore when she dressed as Elsa while I dressed as Anna three Halloweens ago. Wiped it down in advance, just for you. Hey Candace, do you have an idea on what song you want to sing? I have a song that you can sing. My funny Valentine, I know what's on your mind. I know that you cry sometimes. Janice, I appreciate your singing, but Valentine doesn't really match her theme. And keep in mind, we're singing at a Chinese restaurant. Do you want me to sing a Chinese song? I don't really know any. Boss, I think Poe is the only one that even knows what the lyrics are about. If the Chinese language isn't what everyone can understand, then we can use some certain musical instruments. I don't think any of us even knows anyone that can play Chinese instruments. One of my employees knows how to play the clarinet. So, I can probably invite him over if I give him a little bonus. We can invite Zelda to play the harp! Are you sure? She already has her own party to deal with. Plus, what songs even need the harp? I can play the guitar. Alright Eugene, you'll be responsible for finding us a clarinet player. Is that good? You can count on me. Yes. Finally time for me to showcase my talents. I never believed that I could just turn any normal birthday party into my own talent show. So, next up, we need to decide on the songs. Continuing my Chinese instrument idea, I actually have a pretty good song. And don't worry, you don't have to learn any new languages. Our fellow contestant friend, Trip, did our cover of this song and posted it to YouTube. When I first heard about Mr. Krabs' Chinese feast, I thought it looked like something similar to Lunar New Year. Yes. First Christmas, then Thanksgiving, and now Lunar New Year. <laughs> and I was a little song in my fan all alone. How I hate to spend the evening on my own. So depressed to see the gloom There's not a soul out there No one to hear my prayer Give me, give me, give me a minute After midnight Oh, somebody help me Chase these shadows away Give me, give me, give me a minute After midnight Take me through Darkness to the break of the day. Are you sure one song is enough? It takes us a bit of time to prepare at least the first two to three courses. If you don't want to give Rocky and his friends too much wait time. Do you know any other songs? Like something other than Valentine? This song was one of Rocky's favorites from PE class. Wow! If it's Rocky Fade, that word definitely sang it. You tell me you're in love with me But you can't take your pretty eyes away from me It's not that I don't want to stay But every time you come too close I move away
This song is just what I have to say to Rocky right now. Alright, then sing it. Don't you think two songs would be enough for Candace to work on? Today's a very Wednesday. I can do it. Alright, two songs then. Let's not add any more or it'll be too much for her. Hey Squidward, do you want five dollars? I deserve way more than five dollars. What are you talking about? If you want more, you can put the five bucks you'll earn into the bank and you'll get interest from it. Sir, Mr. Krabs, what do you want? Can you help my group and friendship game by playing your clarinet? Sure, what song? Gimme, gimme, gimme a man after midnight. Contestants in this round are supposed to host a party for Rocky. And that's since one of our partners runs a Chinese restaurant, well, do a feast there. However, another one of our partners can't cook. But she is pretty, has a nice voice, and plays the guitar, so she'll perform before the feast starts. That's pretty nice. I'll have the five bucks. How do you think about what we plan for our party right now, Urza? I like the idea of taking Rocky to Waffle Town Fair, but seeing Jean, the groceries you inherited from Mr. Krabs and Patrick aren't that much use. That's the point of our meeting today. Presenting to you my friend who is also Patrick's best friend, SpongeBob SquarePants. You must be SpongeBob SquarePants with the briefcase. Do you have any solutions for our groceries? Well, to avoid plagiarism, this is Patrick's little invention. It can hold 12 donuts, an ice cream sundae, and a banana split inside. Wow! This is like dessert for our whole army! But we're already in a theme park! Could be good for something like a power cut or if the lines get crazy long. We should still make it in case. After all, it's a magical invention. And if we can't use it, there's still three more rounds. Rocky will be able to see it at some point. And how do we keep all the stuff cold? Because there is ice under the briefcase. Like, there is a layer of ice down there, and on top, there are the donuts. Trip, Levi, Zelda, Rachel, and Quagmire. That's all the contestants in your group. Yes, that's right. We're planning to host a Halloween trick-or-treating party. <coughs> you guys must know me really well. Halloween has been my favorite time of the year since I was a little kid. I just love dressing as certain characters and have fun as them. Now, let's get back to business. Who will be the captain of your group? I'll be captain. So, what do you think you guys will need to prepare for this party? Halloween costumes. Halloween decorations from home. Ask kids if their houses want to participate in trick-or-treating. Candy press Halloween themed desserts. Paper prints or cups. Treat or treat root. Photo booth based on characters just up. That sounds pretty well planned. So, who else do you also want to trick or treat with us? Naruto, Ataru, Nagisa. Since meeting the friend group he introduced me to at a young age, Rocky taught me that if you want strong friendships, you must also get along with the friend group they hang out with. Our party is a party between us and Rocky's friend group. Sure. For this round, you will also get to invite some of my other friends to your party. They all have very strong social abilities and diverse networks. It is completely optional, but I absolutely recommend. However, there are no penalties if you choose to not invite them. Can we have a minute as a group? Of course you can. You can head to the rec room to watch a brief intro of all the additional friends you can invite on the TV. I'm the fashion know-it-all Taylor Swifts. Dressing well is important for getting good friendship, so I'm the right one to look for if you need help. I'm Miley Stewart, formerly Hannah Montana. Beside me are my best friends Lily and Oliver. You know, contestants, everyone makes mistakes sometimes. We used to be really good friends through elementary school, middle school, high school, and even college. Sure, I did something wrong later on. But I was willing to change, and presented a better version of myself in front of Miley. And here I am, one of Miley's best friends. Sorry to all other VIPs if I took a little too long. 
I'm Princess Rosalina. She has the most followers among the 18 of us. Thanks for the compliment. Not a surprise. Taylor Swift was one of the interviewers as well as the four hosts. And based on the picture in the hallway, the princesses attended Rocky's retirement ceremony. The only thing is I need to find a way to convince the contestants to invite them. They may know some of the VIPs in the past or believe that certain VIPs match the event more. After all, you're not going to invite Donald Trump if your party is based on Halloween. Do you guys have any VIPs in mind you want to invite? My first choice is Miley, Lily, and Oliver. Miley used to have a second identity as a star, and so is Rocky. And when Rocky cosplayed Tadami Kalasuma in the most recent episode of Kitchen Nightmares, Oliver was also there. Can I also tell you guys my picks? Sure. While the Miley trio matches Rocky's background pretty well, I recommend inviting Taylor Swift and Princess Rosalina as well. Taylor Swift will be pretty interested in costumes. Okay, how should I explain to the contestants why they should invite Rosalina? And Princess Rosalina with her fame across the world? There are plenty you can get if she were to like our party. It's just Xavier. We do have quite a lot to prepare for the party. There's the six of us, then Rocky and the three co-hosts, and that's already 10 people. Miley, Lily, and Oliver join, and that's 13. And Taylor Swift, I also approve, because of her interest in fashion. But even without Rosalina, we already have 14 costumes to prepare. We have to prepare enough food for 14 people, and with this many people, we have to set up even more photo booths to reduce the lineup. I'm already in charge of all the costumes myself. I'm in charge of the decorations and contacting kids. I'm in charge of the food. I'm in charge of setting up photo booths. And I'm here to help whoever needs help. If Quagmire is only there to help people, then why don't you go the extra mile and unlock one more mutual friend with Rocky? I mean, Xavier does have a point. They are all Rocky's friends, and to Rocky, the more the better. It's just, we should stick to whatever's within our abilities. Xavier's reason for inviting Rosalina is a little weaker than the others. But Rosalina and I were pretty good friends on the set of Smash, and we still hang out from time to time. We haven't talked much since Link and I were together, but Rosalina still congratulated me. Still... I don't think Rosalina deserves to be treated like an outsider in this party. Well, Rosalina and I have been pretty good friends on the set of Smash. While I may not be captain, I would like to trick or treat with her. Let's invite Rosalina then. Xavier and Zelda both want to invite her. And we can give Quagmire more work opportunities. I think this result looks pretty good. And everyone can invite the VIPs they like. Any objections? Last call. Nope. Nope. Let's go back and tell Rocky our results. Who do you have in mind to invite? We have decided on inviting Miley, Lily, Oliver, Taylor Swift, and Princess Rosalina. We hope to make this a double princess party. Congratulations on securing Princess Rosalina and four other VIPs. This will mean that Trina and Eugene won't be able to invite the five you just invited. You may also increase the amount of VIPs to invite any time before the party. But once you invite a VIP, you cannot uninvite them unless they voluntarily back out. All clear? Yes, Rocky. Hey, Toby. Are you guys here to work on the briefcase? Yep, all ingredients ready. My mixer isn't working! Urza, can I use yours for now? Mine isn't working either. Now that I'm done making the banana split, do you guys want to help me blend the milkshake? Sure, since our mixer suddenly stopped working. Not working either. Bye bye, suddenly stopped working in the house. We were trying to refer to SpongeBob's YouTube video about how to store the briefcase in cold temperatures, but though it didn't let us connect. The mixers in the blender aren't working either. It may be a power cut. 
Let me try turning the lights on. That is a power cut. How can we finish all this without electricity? I guess we have to wait. But if something like this happens during your party, I have this in the garage. This is my solar stove. It collects sunlight and cooks food with it. I heard that you can fry an egg on the sidewalk during the summer. Exactly. Basically, this concept. And we can reheat some frozen food with it. Last round, Mr. Krabs and Patrick bought some frozen pasta, pancakes, and tater tots. We can maybe cook them first after the electricity comes back, and then take it out of the fridge and reheat it using this stove. We couldn't get food from the fair due to another power cut. Are you sure that's going to work? I can show you. There's this box of enchiladas that has been sitting in my freezer for a while. Since it's nice outside, how about we reheat it using this stove? That's great, but we need to deal with the ice cream first. The car cooler always has ice in it in case there's any emergencies. Since it's empty, you can put it there for now. It's so good. Tastes just like the ones from the grub truck. Worth fighting with Robbie for it. This is an amazing invention, Toby. Let's bring it to the party. Hey Dakota, do you get any kits for trick-or-treating? I got Fudge and Sheila. I'm still waiting for an answer from Nana and Popo. Some Smash Team members said that they're okay with us coming by their places too. You remember Armin from the army? He said that we can drop by his place too. Perfect. Hey Levi, have you finalized the menu for the party? Thanks to Rachel finishing all the costume in time, Quagmire and I came up with these dishes. I always thought Levi only knows how to fight soldiers and kill people. But I never knew he could be so creative and make not only us wear costumes, but also the food. Wow, Chef Levi really knows how to make the food wear costumes. Do you plan on making the food in advance and then reheat them or making them on the spot? Some of them can be made in advance, such as the Jinx and the Jekyll Lantern cookies. Nettles roast meat and pokeball pie would take a while to cook. So, it would be great if we can start cooking right before we head out for trick-or-treating. Are you sure the Hyrule Castle cooks won't mind? Zelda said that she can tell the castle cooks to watch the stove for us. However, there is one thing that I think would be the best to prepare fresh right after trick-or-treating. Why after trick-or-treating? Levi is talking about the Koro-sensei takoyaki. Taylor Swift said she'll bring her own Karma Akabane costume. I want to try to take a picture of Taylor Swift as Karma, and then she can show up Koro Sensei and put it in her takoyaki. That is just slay! Sam, are you alright? Ach. Sorry, Carly. <laughs> We need to test your temperature. Why are you not 101 degrees? Let me go get you some cough syrup. Sam, your cough syrup. Drink up if you still want to make it to a grand Chinese feast on Saturday. Are you sure I can make it? It's kind of tough. Let me text Rocky your current situation. Thanks for taking care of me all night, Freddy. Yeah. 38 degree fever. Not surprised after you passed out on our van last night. My mom will have to spend hours cleaning it up. <coughs> Looks like you're gonna miss the show at RTS today. May everyone in Team Crabs please report to Rocky's office. Is there anything important that you want us to know? Yes. Unfortunately, my friends Sam and Gibby have just caught a cold and we'll have to miss our party.
That's really sad. Sammy's the biggest foodie among all the VIPs and without her, the party isn't gonna work. Iraqi, hey during the briefing you said that we can move our party to the Monday if needed, right? If we postpone it for just two days, then Sam and Gibby may have a better chance of recovering. That'll be kinda hard. A common cold usually needs at least a few days to recover from. Plus, Team Trina is going to the Waffle Town Fair. It's only open on weekends, so we have to keep our party on Saturday. If you still want Rocky to be in the mood to feast. Candace, I agree with your point. I will have a nicer time if I didn't just come back from Waffle Town Fair. Can you maybe ask Team Trina to move their tickets to Saturday? If we go on Monday, then you can still have a day of rest. Sorry, Sabrina, but Waffle Town Fair tickets don't allow for date changes. You'll just have to buy new tickets of the new date at regular price. Sorry for asking then. I have been too busy to go to same parks in the last couple of years. So, the conclusion of what you can do is either invite other VIPs, but stick with Saturday, or postpone it to Monday and wait for Sam and Gibby. Although there's no guarantees that they can make it. We'll discuss this as a group. Thanks for them some, Paul. Yeah, I love your pineapple bounce. Yeah, do you have to pay back? And if we do, should we be using our party budget? It's okay. You don't have to pay. We have quite a lot of leftovers anyway. So anyways, what are we gonna do with the iCarly game? We should really keep going. There are still many other good VIPs we can invite. Candace, we can't replace Sang. None of the other VIPs are as big a divas as Sang. Or as much of a foodie as her. We only have three more days. Sam and Gibby has found that they have a cold yesterday. You really think we'll recover my cold in just five seconds? We can ask Rocky to make our party last. Since the other two parties are ready anyway. No, we can't go last. Rocky will already be carved from all that party and won't feel spives anymore. Fine. I'm not gonna argue with you. If last isn't when we should go, then when should it be, Manager Wen? Second, we still need time to wait for other VIPs to spawn. But by then, Rocky won't be tired yet and will look forward to our party being an improvement from Rachel's. As captain, I immediately met him. Do you know how famous iCarly is? We will go last. We will wait for them. I'm afraid I'll have to agree with Eugene this time. What if all of you were to win friendship game? But then, Rocky has something he wants to do with the iCarly game and invites you guys. And then, to kick you out because of what you did this round. Oh, can you help me on the kitchen? Okay. This is not working out. Oh, why don't you go help your dad in the kitchen? And as for Candace, if you want more VIPs, go ahead. But Rocky has the right to make changes to our schedule. I personally think Candace should leave this group. But if I were to tell her to leave this group, it's the same as eliminating her on the spot. And I'm not Rocky. I have no eliminating powers. I can tell Rocky what's going on, but we also have a rule of no suggesting eliminations. Well, unless she puts a knife on my neck. With well, Sam and Gibby backing out, we would like to take a look at what other VIPs we can invite. So far, every group has invited at least one VIP, including Team Trina, who invited Tori, as she is Trina's little sister. Here are the VIPs that no team has invited yet. Eric, Stan, Kyle, and Kenny would like to join a party as a group of four and want Taylor Swift to be with them as well. We Fit Trainer, who spoke in the video, brought me to volleyball and taught me many important skills, as well as her husband who can't make it as he has to teach archery. Shoyo was one of my teammates back in Team USA. Dwight has many different roles, 
in which you would probably know him as the manager of Dunder Mifflin Scranton. However, he was my old driving instructor and taught me the importance of driving in my life. Lastly, Shrek was my personal trainer back in my volleyball days, and I became pretty good friends with their kids. I taught them acting, video editing, and volleyball. If only they don't have school right now. I specially let Shrek bring some of the VIP food home for them. We don't need that many VIPs. Candace wants just two replacements so the food we prepared don't go to waste. Or Thor and Sholo. I remember not everyone spoke the intro video, so can you give us a brief introduction? I have a road test coming up. Would White help? I know Rocky still stays pretty good friends with people he met from this volleyball days, so prioritizing sports people would be a good idea. What do you think of Shoyo and We Fit Trainer? With how We Fit Trainer would like to keep fit, she probably isn't the best option. What about Shrek? But his kids don't get to eat here, do you know how sad that feels? We should have enough leftovers for the kids, but what do you guys think about Dwight? Sure, if that works. Hey Rocky, can we do show on Dwight? Sure. 10 pounds of cod for Rocky Thatcher Studios. Thank you. Wow, wow Princess Zelda. I'm surprised a princess can actually work this hard. Why can't I work hard? Rocky's my friend too. We may have our differences, but he took care of me when I broke up with my last two exes. Where's Quagmire? He's carving the fruit lanterns Levi will take the fruit flesh and make treats with them. Sweet. This is a real functioning group. Now we look back. I think what this group lacks is Nelson and Lotso. While I may be a bit older than everyone else in our squad, I miss having eight little brothers and sisters. However, as I learned back on day one, FG isn't easy, and not everyone can survive. Fun fact about me, Xavier, is that while I'm more interested in older, taller, stronger guys, I find myself more comfortable with friends who are probably a bit younger than me. As a princess, I definitely had to deal with a lot of uncles and aunties growing up. Usually, my slightly older peers would use the advantage of age and pressure me to come over. Hey Zelda, do you want to join a tea party? We haven't come over in so long. Uncle Tony and Aunt Inka really miss you. And then their parents will gossip about me behind my back and then tell Imba. Sorry if Zelda failed to reach her behavioral expectations. I'll discipline Zelda after we get home. That ain't good. Is that why you and Rocky weren't that close later on? I guess, yes. While I believe Rocky's grandpa wants me to survive, even actually become friends with Rocky again, I still don't feel like coming over and saying hi to him in person. That's fair. But why do you want older guys? Because they can provide for me. I want a man to protect and take care of me. Is that wrong? But... You just gotta be careful. While I know Rocky wants to keep you safe, I don't think you would want to drain his energy in the long run. I'll stay safe. Don't worry. If anything goes wrong between you and Link, and you want to move on, don't go for anybody called Stuber, please. Huh? Are you telling me to break up with Link? No, Princess Alda. Even if you two, you know, I still want you two to stay really good friends. And why are we talking about Stubert? Because that's the name of the guy my friend Zelda was dating when I wanted to ask her to hang out with me after leaving Arpre for a year. I also had a really similar experience in 2005, like the year after the Athens Olympic Games. A guy from my old archery class called Javier, like your name except with a J, wanted to hang out with me in the middle of me and my then boyfriend's Caribbean trip. And prior to that, we haven't talked for like a whole year already. His name is... Javier? Yes, that's right. He was only like 17 when I was like 21. 
And my boyfriend back then was 25 and six foot one. This makes no sense. How come older guys can get younger girls and younger guys can't get older girls? Plus, I'm still taller than Zelda, okay? Do girls in the 21st century only care about height gaps or something like that? Girls that are 6 feet tall want guys that are 6 feet tall. Because who even is taller than them, right? But girls that are barely 5 feet tall also only want guys that are 6 feet tall. And how did things go for you two? We broke up and never talked again like two years later. But it was a peaceful breakup. Sorry, Zelda. If only I got to see how this douchebag looked like. Did I just hear it? Douchebag? That's a strong word. I'm talking about Zelda's ex. And is his name Stuber? The name of the CEO from when I worked at Superstore USA also ended in Burr. He fired me just over working at the same store as a girl he liked. Yes, and... Quagmar, is it okay if I talk to Zelda alone? Sure, I get it. Zelda, as a guard, I'm not allowed to tell contestants who we really are in case if they retaliate after they get eliminated. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I have to. I'll regret if I don't. It's just, can you keep a secret? Of course. I'm really good with secrets. Princess Zelda, you are my old archery classmate. My name is Javier Young. When you asked me those questions on the bus last round, I could already tell. Nice to see you again, Javier. Can a guard give a contestant a hug? Rocky never said that it's against the rules, but... Now when the contestant is okay with it. Sorry, Jesse, but... Link's girlfriend just took her man. Why is it not okay? He waited 15 years just for this. Maybe things between us will be easier when Zelda's not something he has to worry about. But she's Link's girlfriend, and she's a puppet figure. They're childhood friends from archery, us. If you haven't seen me in 15 years, you would hug me too, right? Yeah, true. What even is Javier to her? Her relationship with Link looks all fine, so I don't really see why she has to go out of bounds like this. Just a friend? I would be the same as half if I were to find out that you went through two horrible relationships. Me free. Thanks, Ned Bass, for care. You guys are guards and contestants. Why aren't you hugging? I just feel sad for Zelda. That's all. You can join us if you want, right, Zelda? Sure. Now that it all makes sense, let's put the card in the freezer before it goes bad. Hey guys, do you want to know what me, Janice, and Urza were originally planning on before we disbanded? I remember you guys were going to Swiss Chalet or somewhere like that. That was Janice's idea. She wanted to do a Christmas party with warm Christmas sweaters. That definitely didn't seem right, so I later suggested a tea party at my castle. We can make some cake, scones, and other treats, and then invite Rocky and the co-hosts over. This is a great idea. If only you guys formed a group earlier so I could be your mentor. It's just, Xavier, a tea party. It's a very plain tea party with, like, nothing else. Team Krabs is working on a crazy extravagant Chinese feast. Team Trina is going to a theme park and will also make a special briefcase in case the power runs out. Just like Brainstorm! And then there's our group right now. Levi is already coming up with things like ghost buns and pokeball pies. Why don't I just join you guys and increase your budget so we can host an even better party? 
Now you talk about it, Zelda. We still haven't figured out where we'll start trick-or-treating. Tripp and Levi said that a couple of their friends are okay with us killing by the houses. I also asked some of my colleagues from a private jet airline, and they're okay with it as well. Do you try to point their addresses out on the map? Sure. They're all pretty close to my castle. We can start and end at my place. And then, after we're done, we can enjoy our food and have a nice party at the castle. Sweet. I wonder how her castle looks like. Everyone except Rachel and Tripp has come over to my place at least once or twice. Javier, when we did archery class wrap-up parties. Quagmire, when he drove me and Rocky to the private jet. And Levi, of course. I actually felt kind of weird how Dakota's not here. I haven't seen Dakota and Rocky together in quite a while, while her bestie, Levi, is in the game right now. She and Tripp act and look pretty similar, so I guess I can treat Tripp as Dakota for now. It's just like any normal castle. If you've gone to one of those castles before in Europe, you'll remember. Also, Levi, I'm not sure if this is allowed, but I really want to see Dakota too. How is she doing right now? Yeah, things are fine right now. I can tell her that you say hi. Bruh, Zelda is talking about Dakota? This is crazy! Yeah, Levi. I remember Dakota. I really miss her. I would love to invite Dakota to our party, but Rocky said that we can only invite his friends. I even asked Rocky if I could invite his grandpa. He said no. <laughs> Who invites a grandpa to Halloween? Ataru and I have a scheduled live stream at 9 p.m. tomorrow. We're starting the party at 7. Do you think that's enough time? Sure, but we may have to leave a bit early. Just to remind you guys, Rocky and Ataru have a scheduled live stream at 9 p.m. on our party day. So starting at 7 and the route isn't that long. Plus, with how we're trick-or-treating within one same area, it shouldn't be too hard to get most of it done and sing the birthday song by nine. Are you sure we have to fit this much filling in the dumplings? We didn't add any cheap fillers in there. Of course, we have to. We have to showcase our food quality here. You really have to go back to cooking class with scraps. We teach students to make good quality food, not food for profits. Even when you know that they'll run restaurants in the future? Of course! What do you think about making giant dumplings, Rocky? Not this time. If you stuff this much filling, they'll burst. Hey guys! The fish market just called me and said that the rock cod is too popular and that there won't be any until at least next week. Huh? What are we gonna do? promised the VIPs that we're gonna have the best rock cod for them. Well, at least there's no Sam or Dippy. Sam won't be too disappointed by the fact that she won't be able to enjoy the rock cod. Why don't we just use other types of cod? We can use the money we'll save on getting better scallops or lobsters. Eugene, I don't want to get eliminated for breaking my promise on the rock cod. Sorry for being late as I was helping Candace rehearse. Are things alright with the food? The rock cod couldn't come in time for the feast, as they were sold out. I suggested changing the fish to other types of cod, but Poe seems to disagree. Poe, I know you don't like this, but we have to deal with it. The feast is tomorrow, and we probably won't have enough time to look for other suppliers. How about we make a sign saying that rock out is unavailable? Sure, I can help. Um, hello, Mr. Payne. I'm here for the rock cod feast I ordered two weeks ago. Sorry, Georgia, but due to issues with supply, we have decided to temporarily stop offering rock cod until at least next week. You may even request a refund. Wait till next week. Or, we can give you what you spend as credits to try other dishes we serve in our restaurant. Ah, oh, 
I guess I'm gonna try all the things here then. Maybe you can help me fill out the high element. If that can give us some money to do other things, then sure. We don't really have other things that we need to spend a lot on. Fine, I'll help you fill out the hell, but... Okay, what should I do right now? So Rocky and the co-host don't know that Zelda knows that I'm Hatter. Half horror sinks between you and Zelda. I just told her about me being happier. Huh? Wait, for you? It's hard, but I had to. I needed to get my old archery classmate back. So you told Zelda that you're happier? And that you were her old archery classmate? Sorry, Katie. I miss the days when we worked together at school. I miss the short little that we have worked together at Rocky Thatcher Studios. But if I have to choose between a job that may not last a lifetime and a friend that will make me regret a lifetime if I were to leave her behind, then I'll choose the latter. So, what are you gonna do right now? Quit or...? I'll just stay for as long as I can until Rocky finds out. You know, Zelda is also friends with Peach and Daisy, right? Yeah, but I think I should secure a job first. You see, even in Club Penguin Island and Thunder Mifflin, where there are people that are definitely willing to give me a spot, it doesn't mean that there are spots. They're not going to be dumb enough to let go of somebody they have always worked with just for me. I believe even in Hyrule Castle, things are going to be the same. Okay, half. Just... For now, don't say a word about our tree, okay? If you need help, you can ask me to join you on talking to Zelda about keeping your past friendship with her a secret in front of the hosts. You're just Xavier. You're just Xavier. Repeat one more time. You're just Xavier. Here's your food. Thank you. Hey, Poe, don't you think our location is a little too quiet? Not really. Staying close to a residential area can at least make sure that residents around the neighborhood can walk to here to get takeout. But all we have beside us is a small sports store. Imagine if we were to be beside a Macy's and then a big fountain, a hot topic, and the best part, an escalator. Dad, you must be talking about Philly. This is Waffle Town. We only have one store in malls. What about this one? This one only has elevators. In the case of an emergency, you may use the back stairs. Gimme, gimme, gimme a man after midnight. Won't somebody help me chase the shadows away? Okay, I feel like I may have chosen the wrong song. This song is a little too romance brain. But aren't all the songs to enable romance? Maybe if I call the Queen of Weird Ideas and tell her to come here, then she can help me find a way. What is Katie trying to do by telling me to come to Poe's restaurant? Your old driving instructor colleague is trying to show off her talent. <laughs> Trust me, Captain Crunch, her singing isn't that good. Half past twelve and I'm making some fried rice in my flat all alone. I lie hate to cook a meal inside my home. <laughs> wow, Janice. You really have some weird ideas. <laughs>